Hello everyone, so in this video let us talk about one of the problem from lead code. The problem name is flower planting with no adjacent. So, wow, uh, nice problem name actually. So, okay, let us go down to the problem statement. So, you have n gardens labeled from 1 till n and an array of paths where path of i is denoted by x of i, y of i, which means that there is a bidirectional path between the garden x of i and y of i. So, it's actually just some sort of a graph problem in which are different nodes which are mentioned as gardens and there is a bi-directional path between each garden like not each garden there is a bi-directional path if it is present in, it is present inside the map uh, which is mentioned as paths between these gardens okay now if each garden you want to put four types of flower like any like you want to place a flower of any of the four types okay now uh the types are let's say this mentioned here one two three four and it is guaranteed that the answer exists okay what the problem is that all the gardens have at most three paths. So, okay, there is a condition on the number of paths that is coming or going from a particular uh, garden. Okay, your task is to choose a flower type for each garden such that uh, for any two gardens connected by a path, they have different type of flowers. Okay, so uh, let's say if I have a particular graph in which if a particular node has some type of flower, let's say one, then all the surrounding nodes of the particular node uh, should have been should have a different flower and another different flower so they should not be having two adjacent nodes with the same type of flower that's all a problem statement i think so yep yep so uh, uh it guarantees that the answer exists and you have to just print out any of the choice of answer that you want to print out okay so let's take the first example it has it has a uh, like a graph from one till two so one uh, okay let us not give it arrow so one two two and then I think the two, two, three, and then three to one. Okay, two to three, and three to one. That is the uh, like the actual graph. That is that is. Let us say that if I put the first type of flower on the first node, the second type of flower on the second node, and the third type of flower on the third node, because I have four type of flowers, four types I have. Okay, so that is fine because that is the order thing. But the overall idea which generally comes to my mind for this type of problem is that let us start from any of the nodes. Okay, let's say if I start from this node. Then all the adjacent node for this particular node should be having a different flower type. Okay, let's say if I start from one, then what I can directly do is that I can mark out all the adjacent node for this node as two. Okay, so let us try that technique out, but like whether it is true or like it is correct or not. So let us try that. Okay, so let us move everything out. Let us start from the first very first node and give it a flower type of one. Now what I'll do is, and because it is marked as now, this is done only. Okay. Now I will mark all the adjacent nodes of this as the type two. Okay. Then what I can do is that I, can, I will mark this as two. And because this is also adjacent, it will mark as two. When I'm marking any other node as two, then I have to like, if I'm marking this as two, then it is fine. But whenever I'm marking out another node as two, I should also have to assume that if it is marking as two, the other node associated to that node also should not be two. Okay. If this is also two, then what I have to do is that I have to mark it as three. Actually, like if this is two, then I have to mark this as three and then it is fine. So what we will be doing out is that if any node that I marked out, if I, any node that I mark out is, let's say if it is two, then all the adjacent nodes, I will just like all the adjacent nodes of a particular node. I will just mark out to be same. Let's say if it is one, I will just mark it out as one plus two, like one plus one with that is two. For two, all the recent nodes will be marked out as three. And from three, all the recent nodes will be marked out as four. And from four, all the recent nodes are now should again mark it as one. So any nodes, let's say if I have a node like this, one, then two, then three, then four, then five. And this has again, let's say one more node, let's say six. And let has, let's say seven. Let this has, let's say eight. So I will first mark this node as with the flower one. Okay. And all the nodes connected to do with that flower two, okay, because they are addition. So I should not like all the addition nodes should not be having the same type of flower. So first node with one, all the addition of this two, then the addition of this two should be three. Okay. I should also keep in mind that they should, if they are filled, that then I should not be filling out. The only condition is that if I can, if I want to refill this, the only condition is that if they are same, if this is two, and if I'm, and this is also holding two, then it is bad. Then I should also fill that. But if, if the addition one is like different then just leave it okay so this is two then this is three then this if this is three then all the addition should be four this is four this is four now from four this should again come down to be one now if i just mark this as one and this is again let's say 
like connected to this then 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 this become false so if i'm marking this as one i should be also ensuring that the other one should not be one so if it is one i will mark it as two that is fine so that's the overall thing that you can able to do this problem out and that's it that's the overall logic so i will be just doing out bfs because bfs is just doing in a row wise traversal because if i will just swap market as one then all that is in dot two then all that is in three then again four so it's like a like level order traversal that is just a bfs and we're just doing bfs uh, over there so that's the whole thing that we'll be going out so let's move on to the code part now so what we have done is that we have first created an essency matrix that is uh uh essentially list sorry so that that is actually required out to traverse over the whole uh, matrix so that is the overall thing essentially list now how we will doing out because it is on from one index we can also make it from zero indexing you can also do it on one indexing whatever you want but i've just make it on zero indexing so just iterate over all the paths inside the uh this paths array that is just giving out the edges edges of the matrix uh or of the graph actually so if this is from zero just subtract on one because it's from one to n okay but my labels or in the uh, let's say adjacency uh, list it's going from zero to index to like zero to n minus one so just n like subtract on one so there's a bi direction so from u to v and v to u okay that is how we are just making adjacency list now after that what we'll do is that we have to store out or print out the colors on on all the let's say nodes so we have created a vector for storing out the colors then iterating over every particular color one by one uh let's say that maybe it has happened that i will only start from a node that le let's say it is not iterating over by a bfs okay let's say that there is two nodes of actually like this also let's say one node like this and like this okay there are four let's say there are four flowers like there are four uh four gardens so uh, in that scenario they are not connected so i should like play, like this should be one type do two type and one type and two type so that is also fine so for these type of scenarios what we actually have to do is that we can iterate over every starting node okay if they're already visited and it already has a, a flower type then we just leave it out okay so what we have done is that this is a color matter like color array that is initialized to zero so we just iterate over every particular node and if it is zero then only we'll start making out all the nodes like uh close to it with some color if it is already colored if it is not zero which means that it is already filled with some color so a color of flower so just we don't need to do an iteration of bfs from that particular node to other nodes because it is already filled by other nodes only okay so if this is not filled if it is not iterated, iterated or, or like previously it is a node that is not been given any flower type so we will first give it a flower type of one okay from any node that we start from we will just give it a flower type of one then what i'll do is that from there we'll start a bfs so for the bfs we'll create a queue insert the particular node from which you want to start the bfs that is the ith that is the ith node inside the view uh start the queue uh, uh like keep on iterating over the queue until it is empty uh pay like push out like pop out the uh, first element that is the element we just inserted and just iterate over all the adjacent nodes of the particular node that we are on okay that we have done the adjacency list we can just iterate over all the adjacent nodes of the current node okay and now what we'll have to eventually have to do is that we have to check that all the adjacent nodes that we are iterating over of the current node if they are zero which means that they have we had not given any color to it then we can give it a color what color the current color plus one so whatever node i was on i have to first iterate over all the adjacent nodes of that so i am iterating over all the adjacent nodes of, of that particular node that is using this for loop. now after it, iterating over all the adjacent nodes we have to check that if they are not given any color or if they are of the same color if they all the adjacent nodes like any adjacent nodes if they are the same color or if they're not having color then only we should give them color okay then what color whatever color i am on plus one so let's say i am i am on a color let's say two or three whatever color i'm on that color plus one i should be giving out to all the adjacent nodes okay that is currently fine and if i have given the color to that particular node i should again do a iteration or like push that particular node inside the bfs so that we can again do a bfs from the other adjacent nodes also because now the adjacent nodes have given color like given the color so the adjacent nodes of those adjacent nodes again like because in the level wise traversal should be given colors also so that they should not intersect with the current color that i have given to that particular node and that is how and if the number of colors so what i have done is that colors of j the, the adjacent nodes should, should be given the current color plus one okay so if it is gone like outer bound more than four so i just do it uh let's say mod of four so that it will comes down to again four okay so all the nodes will be then given the color and that is how our bfs is it like done over all the nodes and just in the final answer you should return the color that we has been assigned to all the nodes inside the graph so that's the overall thing it's just a simple bfs you just have to understand like what is the overall use case for your bfs is so that's it that's it that we have done if the current uh so it's uh you can say a particular uh like 
Cul like graph by portraiting type of uh, example also so there is a generally very use a good case in which you have to buy part okay you have to uh like divide the whole graph into two set like two sub uh, sub segments in which uh, uh all the segments from one half and uh such that uh we have to color the whole graph into two type of colors such that let's say green or blue and then all like you can have to group out the uh, let's say graph into two segments so that there is no uh, edge between the current group but there's only edge going out from the other like to the other group actually so that which actually means that there is no adjacent same color so this is just a bipartiting type of uh, algorithm that we have used okay that is we have to take a graph and has to uh, color that whole graph into two colors so that no two recent colors are same that is a bipartiting type of uh, uh, you can say algorithm and that is also we have done okay uh, but it is some sort of a sl slightly modified because we have four colors instead of two okay so you can also look into uh, more bipartiting type of uh, algorithms online you can i will also mention down in the comment box or like uh, in the description of this particular video as well that's the logic and the code part for this sec like this problem as well if you still haven't got check mention in the comment box of this particular problem thank you for watching till the end i will see you in the next one keep coding and bye